What's up everybody? This is the Crazy Kirby Kid, and we got a new piece of tech for you this week. So check it out, Yoshi's Forwarder gives Mario so much stun that Mario can barely put up his shield in time, and that's good for a perfect parry. But if we up the damage a little bit, Yoshi can actually link the forward air into a jab, and Mario can't do a single thing about it. So spikes over the stage are a little bit annoying, but we got a little piece of tech here to start turning the tides on these free spiking characters. So with a little more damage, Mario goes into a tumble stage. And when you're hit out of the air with a strong attack, you can typically tech it. But, in this case, we're not going to attack it and buffer an A attack. So here's a few examples. You can do a down air, bouncing off the ground. You know, neutral air bouncing off the ground. And the response time is really fast. I mean, the smoke is barely out of the way before Mario's attacking. So when you add a little bit more damage, the situation looks a little bit more different. Now Mario's attacking much higher up in the air. I mean, look at the difference in damage. On the right side, Mario has more damage, so not only does he kick later, but he's higher up off the ground. But notice this one. What's the difference between those two attacks? Well, the Mario on the right is going to fast fall immediately after down airing. You can see the spark there, but the Mario on the left delays his fast fall and is not able to hit Yoshi in time. But as you can see, fast falling out of these bounce techs gives you a dive kick like effect. You actually reverse your vertical momentum immediately. So those are two examples of how to do it wrong, but check this out. With a little bit of timing, you can get the reversal in many situations you wouldn't have otherwise. So jumping out of tumble stun takes 49 frames at the, in this particular case. Uh, fast falling out of tumble stun is 47 frames. It's a little faster. But when you do a bounce tech A attack, 27 frames after hitting the ground. And air dodging is the fastest option at 20 frames. So now you got a little bit better idea of what moves you should use when. Remember, bounce teching is not just over the stage and against the ground, but against walls too. Which is really good for edge guarding. Right here, Donkey Kong hits Mario hard enough for him to bounce tech off the wall. But you can actually use it as sort of a mid-air armor breaking counter hit. 3 frames was all Mario needed there to break up Donkey Kong's up B. It's a similar situation with Ness, there's all kinds of creative edge guarding you can do once you master bounce tacking. And when people have to recover, typically they have to hit you if you're hanging down below the stage. So in this case, Ness puts up an up B in the snapback range and then uses a bounce tech to hit Marth with his frame 5 neutral air. But it's, you can do more than just hit him into the stage, you can combo them off the stage. This video was brought to you by One Smash in partnership with Tourney Locator. You can find all these videos on Tourney Locator's YouTube channel, so please check it out and subscribe. And you can find us at Serving Smash or at our website, www.onesmash.net. We will see you guys next time with another Tech of the Week.